Hi guys, it's Angela and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to go thrifting as well as to this location right here behind me, which is a huge antique store here in Southern Ohio. I will have the description and the Google information down in the description, but just a little bit about this place. It is massive. This like doesn't this front doesn't even do its justice. Um, so I'm on the hunt for a couple specialty items. So I'm not like going in for the knickknacks, but I know this location is going to have a lot of those like smaller collectibles and knickknack type of things. I'm definitely on the hunt for more pottery and furniture, maybe even some vintage rugs, but I don't think I'll find that here. But I thought this would be a good um, demonstration of just like what's down here in the Dayton area. Um, we're specifically in Springfield right now. Um, I think it's Clark County of Ohio. Um, so we're gonna go check this out and do a little shop with me. Maybe find a couple things and I'll share what I find at the end of the video. Okay, so when you first walk in, you're opened up into like an open bay area. And then from here, you're going to have your different corridors. In addition to more welcome area, there's also this really cute cafe where you can grab a drink and a quick bite to eat. And then just a little bit about this antique store. Um, it's actually America's biggest antique store. It is 122,000 square feet guys, 122,000. It has over 1,400 booths and showcases. As you can see, the showcases are kind of in the center of each bay and then along the walls of the bay are more of your booth styles. Um, in addition to the booths and the showcases inside, there's also a 30,000 square foot outdoor area that includes patio furniture and statuary and just more architectural items. Now we didn't go outside today because it is a little bit chilly, but once it warms up here in Ohio, I will definitely be heading back to do more shopping as well as checking out that outdoor area. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel for future antique and vintage videos and then what I like about the individual booths is like you kind of see a collection of specific items in that booth so for example this was more art oriented and it's kind of what I was looking for so I'm looking for like art and pottery maybe even some furniture um, so I was really geared towards those type of booths today Forty-five. That is three forty-five. That is the darnest little thing. So cute. And then I got that one. Even this the, is why we This is so cute. Antique wash stand. I could totally see using that like as an end table or a nightstand or even like if you have a small entryway and you just need something little. But it's actual stone. Beautiful piece. There's always so much glassware. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> These are pretty candlesticks, nice and heavy. Whew. These are really pretty candlesticks. A little bit more than I would like to pay, but very pretty. And they're really heavy, which is nice. What are you doing? What? Um, I wanted to get some antique knobs. So this booth has like a lot of the hardware knobs and stuff like that. And I want to find a collection of hardware for mine and Nathan's nightstands. And they even have the wheels our wheels. This card table with these chairs is such a vibe. If you got like a cool guy's den, this is freaking awesome. 1500 but you know what like wine barrel whiskey barrel vibe that is so cool babe did you see this <clears throat> this card table okay look at that that's cool it's 1500 Probably not that. It's really, a it's a barrel, it's wood. This feels like genuine leather. There's Namor though from the movie we just watched. They don't even call him Namor, it's Submariner, Scourge of the Seven Seas. He's Namor the Submariner. Yeah. And they've got like action comics, which is what DC was before DC. Yeah. I just don't know what's more of anything. Usually, like, characters' first appearances would be, like, Batman's first appearance is, like, a fucking thousand, you know? So, there's another YouTuber called Brandy Jackson. Um, I'll link her profile down in the description, but she just bought one of these display cases and she's actually using it as her bar, kind of similar to how I'm using my hutch as a bar, but like you can put your cocktail glasses and your whiskey bottles all in a really cute display cabinet. And then she has like a little antique lamp in one of her cases right now, but um, you can also like put some lighting in these, but these are really cute. And I love that purpose for them. I like looking at these older books, especially for like Nate's office that are military related. Like this is cool, the United States Air Force Dictionary. And if you could like find the army and all the other branches, that would be such a cool thing. You found a book, huh? Yes. What book is it? The United States Air Force Dictionary. Okay. That's not the one I'm looking for. <laughs> It's probably outdated. Though. Well, yeah, I do use it for more styling purposes, but I like, I don't like to just buy books for styling purposes. I want them to also be a conversational piece, so, yeah. 
or at least this area, like there's Cincinnati stuff. Yeah. They're from the 60s. They are the cutest thing. Look how freaking cute those are. Oh, that's cool. Did you see this like gas mask? Oh, no, I didn't. Baby, you're not antique. You're not even vintage. But you are precious. <laughs> like the old register. Oh, you see the bike bike yeah look at this it's a 5 gallon pig okay. I'm parking right in the middle i don't know pig cutting board Yeah. That's cool. This is such a blast from the past right here. All of this old Tupperware is giving me my great grandmother and grandmother vibes for sure. And then you got the more ceramic type pieces in that hutch back there. All right guys, this is more of the vibe I was looking for, hopefully. We'll see when we get in here, but I was hoping to find more like furniture and pottery. Okay, but right off the bat, that ship wheel is really cool. Well, you'll have to look at my, uh, I have a whole Again, with like the mini, this would have been like a kitchen piece. It was for full size, but it's mini, 125. Kids hutch, so freaking cute. And then you got a little kids table and chairs. And then like $40, how precious. So cute. What are you doing all the way down there? Hehehehe <laughs>
All right guys, that is it for today's video and shopping and thrifting and also going to the antique stores with me. Um, I did pick up the United States Air Force Dictionary. I think this is a really cool vintage um, looking book, perfect for Nate's office. And so that was it. If you are in Southern Ohio and you want to check out Heart of Ohio Antique Store, this place is massive and we didn't even explore the outside area just because it's a little too cold right now. We'll definitely be back in the future. Um, but yeah, if you're into antiques and vintage finds as well as some collectibles, this place is massive and definitely worth the trip. And there's tons of other antique stores in the area that you can definitely check out as well. So that is it. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel and hit that bell notification so you get notified every single time that I upload. And I will see you guys in another video. Mwah. Bye. Oh, did I blow a kiss? Mwah. <laughs> yeah. Mwah.